Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about two problems. Both of them are very easy, but uh, the problem name is reverse string 1 and reverse string 2. So we'll talk about both of these problems in this video. So stay tuned. Now, the first problem is that you have to write a function that reverse a string. The input string is given in an array of characters S, as you can see. So you're given characters in a format of an array and you have to re like reverse this whole string. Uh, or you can say an array of characters and you must do this by modifying an in place with O of 1 extra space. So it's just a string reversal algorithm you will use. There are multiple, like, multiple ways to do that. You can also use the inbuilt reverse function uh, provided by C++. I will use that in the next problem but you can also use that here as well. But one of the easiest way to approach as well that I've used here, I'll tell you how. So let's say that I have uh, a word that is coding. Now the simplest way to reverse, so you have to reverse all those digits. What I'll do is that I will reverse the first and last character. So it will become like this G and C is reversed. Now all the characters are same. Now I'll reverse the these two the characters, then these two characters. So I will reverse. So what I what what we'll do is that I will let's say if I do a mirror image of this particular character, if I do a mirror image. That is actually reversing. So if I just take a particular axis, that is the middle axis, and just rotate all the elements by, uh, around it. So this will come, this will come to this place, and this will come to this place. This will come to this place, and this will come to this place. This will come to this place, and this will come to this place. That is how we are reversing. So what we're trying to do is that the first character will be reverse, like exchange the last character, the second, like the second, second last, third, third last, and like this is done. So what we're trying to do is that we will just make, let's say, a for loop till the half of the array. And just reverse the first, the last, second, second last, and so on. And that is how you can reverse out the whole array. Okay, you can also use the inbuilt reverse function, but yeah, that that could also yeah, that like this is also can be done. So what we're trying to do is that we will go from zero to n, n divided by two, and then we'll swap the i and the last character is so the last index is n minus one, and the last so if I'm taking let's say about the zeroth index, so the last index is n minus one, so n minus one minus zero. And if you go to the like let's say second index that is i equal to one so this this and the last so if i have shifted one from the left i have to shift one from the right so n minus one shift to one place on the right side is subtract one from it so i just n minus one minus one okay so this is like like just going one step on the left side and going one step on the right side and then just swapping out both of these characters and just return out the actual uh like the whole string you have to return out but because actually you don't have to return out because uh, you have to like do this in this particular string as well nothing is returned you will only change this particular string so that is also done so that is the overall uh, problem so this is all done in o of n not actually o of n o of n divided by 2 because you only go on to half the characters but n divided by 2 is actually o of n only so it is o of n now the next problem is that uh, you have to reverse you given a string s and an integer k Okay, you have to reverse the first k characters of every two k characters counting from start of the string. So for every two k characters, you are given some let's say a string and a k. So for every two k bracket, you have to reverse the first k characters. Okay. Now there's some more conditions. If there are fewer than k characters left, then reverse all of them. Okay. Let's say uh, I have let's say uh, I have a bracket of let's say uh, Five characters, but but I only have two characters left, so reverse them. But if there are less than two k, but greater than k or greater than equal to k characters, then I have to only reverse those first k characters. Okay, so that's the overall uh, problem. You can pause this video. I'll tell you in simple terms. Just take one example so that it will become more clear. So this is the actual example that is A B C D E F G. Okay, now k equal to two. So what I actually do is that for so let's take an example. So A B C D E F G. So if I just take a, b, c, c, d, e, f, g, then k equal to 2. Then for every bracket of 2k, that is 4, so 4 characters, you will reverse the first 2 characters. That, so this is reverse, so a, this is reverse, and this is this remains the same. Then for every bracket again of 4 characters. But because this is less than 4, there is one space that is left, this is 3, I will only remove or like only reverse the first 2 characters in all the windows okay so this is the window this is smaller but still i will only re remove like only reverse this part so this is f and e and this will remain 
this will remain the same part so it will be a c d f e g so b a c d f e g okay but let's say uh this is also smaller so let's say the string is like this this also doesn't have f like this and this is k equal to 2 so i will first like uh reverse of the first two for this particular window that is fine but this particular window has less than four characters it always it has only one character so it is less than two i i have to reverse the first k character so if it has less than k characters then i will reverse all the k characters like less than k characters here as well so the answer for this particular answer is b a c d and e as well okay or if if it is f so it is f e whatever you can say okay so that's the overall thing now let's move on the code part so it's very simple what you'll do is that you will use a for loop and you will reverse all the k characters okay for so let's say if i have n total length of this i will reverse every bracket of length 2k i will only do this reversion on every bracket of 2k such that i'll only reverse the first k elements and if this k element is less than the elements are required then i will reverse all the elements as well okay that's the whole logic nothing much complicated i'll just move down to the code it will become more clear so what we have done is that we have used a for loop okay to reverse all the elements and then i have i will have to move for every bracket of length 2k okay so 2k 2k i will reverse the k elements but i have to iterate over uh, the k elements okay i like to reverse the k elements so i so for i equal to 0 less than equal to n for all the elements i will do a jump of 2k so for the first 2k element next 2k elements and so on and for that i will reverse so this reverse function will take the pointer to the first value i want to reverse from and the last value i want to reverse at so i want to reverse from i because that's the particular window starting point that is i and the end point should be i plus k because i have to reverse the k elements okay but it can also happen that it is less than k so i have to find out the minimum of k and the number of elements that are left if the number of elements that i am on is i and the total length is n so n minus i characters are left so if this number of characters are less let's say i want i can only like reverse let's say 10 characters but only 3 characters are left so it is less than 10 i can reverse like in like reverse all of them so i will have to give the starting it like uh, you can say a uh, pointer value and the ender pointer value so starting pointer value is as dot begin and i have to shift that particular pointer value or add i to it so that i can get uh, what is the actual starting pointer value from which i have to do the reverse and the end pointer value is again as dot begin i will add i because uh the total start from i till i plus k okay but k element should be there but if it is less than k so i have to find out the minimum of k or if the number of elements that are left that is n minus i so that is the overall uh, thing that we have done so this is o of n by iterating over this whole array and for every point i have done this inversion so o of n like o of n square do it is very small it is actually very small only but if you just go on the overview it is o of n square thing okay because what we are trying to do is that for every jump of k i will reverse the half elements okay so for reversing it is also taking o of n and this is also o of n but because uh, the overall thing that we are doing is iterating okay let's say the jumping is 4 let's say jump is of 4 and that's the overall simple way but that will eventually pass because why it like why it is passing is that we are doing this in o of n and this is o of n but number of touch points is eventually o of n the number of elements that i am touching because see for the first k points i am reversing the first k elements and the, again first k elements k elements so the total number of touch elements like total number of elements that i have iterated over is still o of n only okay it do it might seem o of n square but it is o of n only so that's why it is passing and that is the second problem as well If you like such type problems and a solution, so stay tuned on this channel. If you still have any doubts, you can mention down in the comment box of this problem. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you in the next one. Like recording and bye.